Hey guys, this is Scott coming at you from hikingforward.com. Uh, today is day 11, uh, 11 days left till Hell Hike and Raft, as we're counting down the 15 days before uh, we go on the trip. Um, and today we're going to talk about a piece of uh, electronics. Uh, later on in the week we're going to show you some, some cameras and some uh, uh, other goodies that we're bringing along. Uh, today I'm using a different camera. Um, but we're going to show you today how we're going to charge all of those things. Uh, this is a new product that I purchased. been saving up my dividend points from REI and my gift cards. Um, so, uh, made a purchase, been looking at this for a, quite some time. A lot of people on the trip have solar panels. Um, and I was going to buy just a solar panel. Um, however, my DSLR was really the thing that was, was making me decide on whether to go with this product or try and figure something else out. Um, and I actually think this is going to solve that for me. I actually know it's going to solve it for me because I tested it. Um, but my DSLR needed a 110 plug. Uh, so I couldn't charge it. It wasn't USB and I, I want to make sure I can keep that battery charged. Uh, as well as other things, USB, uh, my phone, uh, my uh, GoPro, uh, my earbuds with my, my little uh, iPod for, for music and host of other things and plus it hopefully will satisfy any other needs that uh, anybody on the trip has. So what I purchased um, was uh, the Goal Zero uh, Nomad 13 panel as well as the Goal Zero, and I'll open it up for you so you can see what it looks like, on the back of any Goal Zero um, uh, panel you'll see that there is a uh, bag that opens up. And this is the Goal Zero Sherpa 50 with the inverter. Um, so as you can see here, I'll show it to you, you've got some options. Uh, you can charge, and the plugs come with this, uh, you can charge a laptop, you can charge anything with the USB, uh, you can also daisy chain other Goal Zero panels. So if you've got other nomads, so actually when we get on site and if there's a bunch of us and we want to store a bunch of power, uh, usually this comes with small battery packs like uh, A-cell, uh, double A-cell batteries. Uh, this will actually charge two laptops. Uh, this has the 110 inverter, so this actually separates. So if you're ever going on a trip and you don't need this, you can take this off uh, and you don't have to carry that extra weight. Um, it also has on here a little light. So at night when you need that light, you've got lots of, lots of charge in here. You can have a light. All of these plugs light up so if you're needing to use this at, at night you don't have your headlamp on boom there you go all those plug in and it does have and I'll turn it on for you it gives you a little there we go it gives you a little meter tells you how much charge you have and how much you're using so you can get a feel for what you what you can charge if you need to ration your battery power and then you can see these guys light up as well you go to laptop and there's the plug in there for the laptop so you can decide if you want to use a 12 volt or if you want to use your laptop plug in uh, and there's the green. Okay. Uh, in addition, this comes with all the plugs you need. Uh, and you can also charge this through 110. So while we're in the hotel, I can uh, charge this up before we head out. I'll obviously charge it before we get on the trip. Um, and then you've got a host of uh, wires here that connect to either daisy chain or plug in. There's the USB plug. And I'll show you what this looks like in your undo it. So there's obviously uh, straps on the tops and on the sides so that you can hang this off of your backpack uh, or put it out if you're uh, still camping and there's still enough sunlight you can still continue to charge this in a stationary position. Uh, and then it comes with a box of cords, uh, all sorts of cords. Car cords or uh, cigarette lighters uh, and other cords to try and maximize any potential use you may have um, for things you may need to charge. So um, this is actually something that uh, I travel a lot for work. Uh, I've been in many airports where unfortunately they don't have plugins. This is something I'm going to actually start carrying with me. Uh, so when I'm in an airport and I need to charge my phone or I need to charge my, my laptop and I don't have access to a plugin, I'm going to be set. I'm going to be the happiest guy in the airport because I've got my own power. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I keep saying it. I, I, keeps trying to think of other words to uh, say when I'm doing these videos for you guys. 
uh, for the past week, but I am truly stoked about trying this out uh, and, and actually using the sun to charge it and seeing how, how long it lasts. Uh, it's a little pricey, but I think if you're going to continue to use it um, and it's well worth it, uh, I'm in emergency management. And so, heck, to be able to have this in the house if the power goes out and you got to charge your phone, you set this thing out in the sun during the day. Say hi to the say hi to Boston. Say hi, buddy. Get down. Uh, Boston's first 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 video. So uh, I think it's a cool thing to just have in the house to have another source of being able to charge the necessary things you you have uh, necessary for communication. So it has a lot of other uses. So I think it's definitely worth the price for what you're going to get out of it. So lots of different uses. So hope you enjoyed. Uh, definitely have pictures of me with this hanging off my pack. Let you know how it works out in the end uh, in just a few more weeks. So today's day 11. I uh, got 11 more to, 10 more to go uh, as we count down to leaving for hell like and wrap. So keep hiking forward and we'll talk to you soon.